Hey guys, it's Ruby here with An Orthodox Aquatics and I'm here to talk with you today about the pumpkin seed sunfish. So the pumpkin seed sunfish, which is this guy right here, uh, and this guy, um, very, very, very gorgeous fish. These guys hail from North America, uh, mostly the Northeast areas. Uh, and they're also found in most waters, uh, fresh water in uh, Europe, where they were introduced as an invasive species. So uh, let's check them out. So here we have one. Gorgeous pearling patterns on these guys in a bright orange belly. Greens, yellows oranges just amazing and there's the juvenile right there a little smaller i guess maybe it would still be adult so uh this guy here though he is so gorgeous and he's definitely the boss of this tank despite uh the bass that are in there interestingly so yeah now these guys are schooling fish um they can be found in calm lakes and waters, uh, freshwater streams, uh, pools, uh, pond type things, you know, uh, creeks, not too highly concentrated in river areas or fast moving waters. Um, but uh, they can also reside in lower oxygenated areas, uh, more so than bluegills or other panfish, which is kind of neat. Uh, and they also prefer uh, a little colder waters than those guys. But otherwise, they are very similar uh, and related to other panfish and bluegill. Just so pretty. <laughs> They're hungry. Maybe I'll see if they'll eat something, a worm or something. There's some crappie minnows in there, but uh, they either can't catch them or they're just not interested. So These guys eat smaller worms fish, uh, small crustaceans. Um, they're known to raid the nests of bass and bluegill and other fish in their areas. Uh, and they also eat small frogs and tadpoles and other amphibians as well. Um, you know, so they've got a pretty varied diet. They are uh, strictly carnivores. So um, a, a popular game fish also. These guys are sought after uh, for their coloration and, and their size. They can get up to 10 inches, though that is not uh, typically seen with their populations. Uh, they bite mostly on, on live bait, and uh, they're uh, also pretty tasty meat. People catch these guys, lots of them, and then they fillet them up and eat them. In addition uh, to the food, they nest in groups, usually near the nests of other fish, so they can raid them. Um, you know, they have larger territories in those areas compared to larger panfish, so they uh, usually beat out those other fish due to their aggression and voracious appetite. Now I'm showing you this other little bluegill as an example because he's got his dorsal fin erect see uh the spines on there that is bodily uh armor protection for these guys um they a lot of people when they catch them you know you put your hand near the mouth and uh make a circle with your thumb and fingers and you smooth down those fins but they can help against predators uh, who try to catch them uh, by chasing them, they can uh, afford for some difficult digestion for predators. Let's see. And there's also a few on the anal fin. Now, these guys and other panfish or uh, native lake fish are becoming increasingly popular in uh, the aquarist community. Um, they're easy to catch. You can catch a lot of them, and a lot of them are pretty brilliant looking like our friend the pumpkin seed there. Um, there are no concerns when it comes to natural conservation of these guys also. So uh, that's a little side note. Um, it's best to recreate a natural habitat similar to this hardscape I have here. That encourages feeding and breeding for these guys. 
they're quite hardy um, and easily adaptable for uh, to a lot of different um, uh, water conditions and uh, um, you know environments you might say now you do not want to mix these guys with tropicals um, or fish that require very different and specific needs for their aquarium um, other tank mates you can keep with them are other natives uh, that are found in the U.S. such as uh, other different panfish, the bass, um, I've got some bullhead out in my native pool, uh, or channel cats as well. Um, they require a little cooler water like I mentioned before. Uh, anywhere 60 degrees and, and below is fine. They can sustain the winters, obviously. Uh, they sustain them here in very cold Minnesota, but, um, and natural scapes like this, like I said, are preferred. So things with like wood and rock, um, you know, river stone, uh, you know, they like tannins also and, um, floating vegetation. Uh, and, uh, these guys are quite territorial and aggressive. They can be, especially if guarding a nest. Uh, so you can try under or overstocking uh, or mixing up different species to try and curb aggression for these guys. So uh, yeah, that's the pumpkin seed in a nutshell. All right, let's feed them some night crawlers here. Oh, there goes one. Oh, there we go. They love it. Cool beans. So guys, this has been Ruby once again with the Orthodox Aquatics. Check out my channel uh, and uh, subscribe if you like or not. Thank you for joining me again, and you guys have a great rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.